Greetings friends and family, I hope you're safe and doing well, and welcome back to the second episode of My Questions. If you're new around here, make sure to subscribe so you can get all the amazing episodes that are coming. In this episode, we're going to talk about this huge subject of feminism. Women marching, protesting, and celebrating their revolution claiming that they don't need men, and that women and men should be treated equally. However, sometimes in some places, not everybody agrees on this, and there are lots of women out there that are not satisfied with the overall gender equality situation. That's why I figured to invite you all and myself to take a look at the animal world, to try to learn and get inspired, just like the good old days, because they seem to have a compromise and a more stable situation between the genders in a non-mercy environment where only the strongest survives. First things first, let's begin with the definition of feminism. According to Britannica, it's the belief in social, economical, and political equality between the sexes. Although largely originating from the West, now feminism is represented by lots of women rights and interests institutions worldwide. According to Forbes, feminism at its core is the equality between men and women. The animals we are going to talk about realize this definition almost perfectly. Well, not the economic and political part, but other life experiences that are very similar, like conflict, travel, and foraging. Gentlemen and ladies, I'm presenting to you five species where females are stronger than males, live the longest, live the most in one area, and form bonds with other females. These four points are very important to realize in the animal world, and sometimes they are crucial and vital, and they show how strong an individual is, both mentally and physically. Our first animal is bonobos. These guys are our second closest cousin. Do you know who the first one is? If you guess chimpanzees, Good job! These endangered species and the chimpanzees share 98.7% of their DNA with us. Bonobos and chimpanzees look very similar, but bonobos are a bit smaller. That's why they are called dwarf chimps. They are also leaner and darker, and also more importantly, led by females. They are the ones responsible of instoring and keeping the peace within the group. Their groups are called troops, just like the army. And if they have to, females will usually team up together to confront a male. Does that remind you of something? Now to take a closer look to our second friend, we have to go underwater. <gasps> Never mind, to talk underwater we need another kind of communication. By the way, if you haven't watched the first episode about languages, click right here to see it. This animal is a personal favorite, and it's one of my spirit animals. It's called the orca, or the killer whale. They live in groups called pods, which are led by the oldest female. An orca's offspring will always stay with their mothers all their lives, even when they have their own babies. And all females will protect together each other's young ones. Our third animals are spotted hyenas. These animals live in groups that can grow up to 80 individuals. We are talking crowd control here. The groups are called clans, and of course they are female-led, because females are larger and stronger. And if you don't know this already, you're going to get shocked. Because this is straight disrespect, female hyenas have a penis. This is just destruction, and it's very hard to tell a male hyena from a female hyena, until sometimes we have to run blood tests in order to discover. Gentlemen and ladies, we have a winner, and we have a perfect feminist right here. Now from the perfect feminist to the disappointment of the year. I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but 
the king of the jungle, guys. Lions live in communities called prides. These prides are made of female relatives, their offsprings, and two to three males that have to fight for their places. Females stay where they were born, and they know the area the best. A lioness role includes going out hunting, protecting, and defending the territories, whereas the lion is just there to eat and fight for his right to mate. And if he loses, he will just have to go look somewhere else. Now last but not least, the largest land mammals on earth. The elephants are male like. Okay, okay, jeez. The elephants are female like. Both male and female can grow huge tusks. These species can grow up to 8 tons. They live in herds made of females. And these herds are usually led by the strongest and the oldest female. She teaches, cares, and protects the herd. And also she has to lead the herd to food and water. And they have amazing skills and abilities to do that. And these species are endangered, of course. Just like most of the animals we talked about in this video. Thanks to the smartest being on Earth. In my question series, I wanted that each video and each topic ends with a conclusion or a morale or a lesson we get out of each video. And I totally forgot to share with you one on the first video. So I will make sure to do on this one. And you can share with me your own conclusions or lessons you learned from each video down in the comments. I almost forgot we are talking about feminism. It pains me that these species have figured a way to live with each other in peace, regardless of their differences. Meanwhile, the smartest being on Earth is still struggling. It is so sad that people are getting mistreated just because they are women. Whoever does that... <laughs> I mean, women are mothers, grandmothers, aunts, sisters, friends or girlfriends. All the precious people we know are women. If you think that they are something less than men, then you should really reconsider that. And also reconsider what's special about you. If it's your manhood, even a female hyena has a peepee -pee and balls. And probably they are even bigger than yours. So, so we better get over this issue. And rather, look for our greater good. Especially in times like this, like 2020. Long live women, strong and independent. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, if you did, give it a like and share it with your friends. And as always, see you next week, bye bye.